One of the great things that you can do in Google AdSense is create two different ad units to compete against each other and see which one is more profitable for you. This is a great way to increase the click-through rate. If you click on my ads at the top and you click on experiments on the left-hand side, you can create ad unit experiments. This is where they both compete against each other. If I look at a previous example that I did, you can see that the winner was 28% ahead of the loser. That would mean that it would be worth 28% more money. So if you're making $100 off of this ad a month, this would now make $128. It's pretty significant. And if you're gonna make money in AdSense, you want every dollar that you can get. It's pretty important. So what you do is just create an AdSense unit, click on create. So this is going to create the experiment. What I want to test on this one is for this website, I want to test to see if a text only ad will do better at the top. Most of the users on this site are mobile. So I'm thinking that it's possible it might perform better as a text ad because it will load faster than an image ad and have more opportunity to get clicked on. So let's just name that. And we're going to choose the proper ad unit. So you choose the one that you want to test, make sure it's the same one. And it's going to bring up the ad style. This is the current one that's running. So this is the original one that's showing up here. It shows you the ad unit. It tells you whether it's text and display or if it's only one of them. And here is the ad unit style. So I'm going to switch it to text ads only and we'll see how that performs. I'm going to leave all the colors the same. Everything's going to stay the same as it was, except it's going to be text only. So then we hit start experiment. The nice thing is Google handles all the back end stuff with this. It's so easy to do it this way. I used to have to do it by trying to buy different kinds of software that would swap out your ad. This just makes it really convenient. You have to take advantage of this. You have to test your ads. It's very critical, very important. So I'm going to create another one in this example, slightly different. So for this one, I'm going to do one on Sherver and we'll just call this top. I'm just going to bring it up here, Sherver 336 by 280. So you can see this is a text and display again, and this is the ad style. I'm going to create something very different and just see if something that clashes a bit will perform better. So I'm gonna use custom settings Actually, I'm going to choose a basis. So there are some examples here that you can that you can test out. You can even save your ad styles. I'm going to choose something really colorful and go with this one. And if you want to further edit it, you can. I'm happy with this. I haven't tested out different colors, so I just want to test out a variation. So I'm going to just click Start Experimenting. So now I have two experiments running. It will take, depending on how much traffic your sites get. It could take a couple days to a couple weeks. I find that most of my sites, it'll take about a week. And that's because it needs to have a certain confidence interval. The confidence means that how sure Google is that they have chosen the correct one. So I, I usually stop them once they're over 90%. You want them to be fairly confident. If, it's, if it doesn't have a, a fairly high confidence interval, it means that they're not quite sure if the variation is actually better. Once they're done, you'll just click on it to check on the results and you choose which one you want to go with. You choose the higher performing one and then it will replace the ad and it will make sure that the higher, higher one is running once you choose that one.